Coming up on 5-Minute News. Boris Johnson faces Brexit revolt in Parliament. 19 states sue Trump administration for weakening methane rules. And huge chunk of Greenland's ice cap breaks off. It's Tuesday, September 15. I'm Anthony Davis. The European Union on Monday ramped up pressure on UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson to step back from breaking the Brexit divorce treaty, delaying a key decision on London's euro clearing just as he faces a rebellion in the British Parliament. The European Union says Johnson's plan would wreck trade talks and propel the United Kingdom toward a messy Brexit, while former British leaders have warned that breaking the law is a step too far that will tarnish the country's image. The House of Commons will vote on moving the Internal Market Bill, which the EU has demanded London scrap by the end of the month, to its next amendment stage after a debate that Johnson will introduce. As Johnson prepared to try to persuade lawmakers that his plan to explicitly break international law was worth supporting, a derivatives industry source said the European Commission had delayed a decision on euro clearing. Johnson, who has a majority of 80 in the lower house of parliament, faces a growing revolt. All of Britain's living former prime ministers have expressed concern about his plan, as have many senior figures in his Conservative Party. The leader of the opposition Labour Party, Keir Starmer, who is self-isolating due to the coronavirus, said he would oppose a bill that broke international law. Johnson's plan to explicitly break international law has plunged Brexit back into crisis less than four months before Britain is finally due to leave the EU's orbit at the end of a transition period and jeopardised trade talks. California and 19 other states on Monday filed a lawsuit challenging the Trump administration's decision to weaken curbs on methane emissions from the oil and gas industry, saying the widespread West Coast wildfires should be a reminder of the dangers posed by climate change. Donald Trump visited California on Monday to be briefed about its devastating wildfires, while Democratic rival Joe Biden gave a speech on the matter from Delaware, bringing climate change to the forefront of the presidential message. Our climate emergency is increasingly a public health emergency. The toll of the natural disaster we face from unprecedented wildfires is increasingly measured in human life, California Attorney General Xavier Becerra said in a statement announcing the lawsuit. How many wake-up calls do our nation's leaders need to take climate action? The lawsuit targets two policy amendments announced by the Environmental Protection Agency in August that roll back methane emissions curbs on the oil and gas industry and weaken requirements for leak detection. Methane is many times more potent than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas when released unburned into the atmosphere. The lawsuit is California's 54th against the Trump administration to challenge rollbacks to key environmental protections. California is joined in the lawsuit by 19 other Democrat-led states, including rising oil and gas producer New Mexico and four districts and municipalities. Trump, who pulled the United States out of the Paris Accord on global warming because he thought it looked too costly, despite not reading the agreement, has made it a priority to boost the domestic drilling industry by slashing regulations. Democrats have said that climate change plays a role in the fires, and Biden has announced a plan to transition the United States away from fossil fuels to fight global warming. An enormous chunk of Greenland's ice cap has broken off in the far northeastern Arctic, a development that scientists say is evidence of rapid climate change. The glacier section that broke off is 42.3 square miles. It came off a fjord which is roughly 50 miles long and 12 miles wide, the National Geological Survey of Denmark and Greenland said yesterday. 
The glacier is at the end of the northeastern Greenland ice stream, where it flows off the land and into the ocean. Annual end-of-melt season changes for the Arctic's largest ice shelf in northeast Greenland are measured by optical satellite imagery, the survey known as GEUS said. It shows that the area's ice losses for the past two years each exceeded 19 square miles. The ice shelf has lost 160 square miles, an area nearly twice that of Manhattan in New York, since 1999. Another massive chunk of vital sea ice has fallen into the ocean, said Greenpeace spokeswoman Laura Miller, who is aboard the organization's ship Arctic Sunrise at the edge of the sea ice. This is yet another alarm bell being rung by the climate crisis in a rapidly heating Arctic. In August, a study showed that Greenland lost a record amount of ice during an extra-warm 2019, with the melt massive enough to cover California in more than four feet of water. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Please subscribe, rate and review us at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an independent production covering politics, inequality, health and climate. Delivering unbiased, verified and truthful world news daily.